Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, to strive later once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We meet once again in yet another presentation inside the Word of God and praying that you are given the grace, the mercy, the strength, the divine favor, the hope in times of hopelessness, the courage in times of fear, and praying that you are given the honor and all of the days of your life you preserve them by worshiping the lord jesus christ today i want to present the kingdom laws the kingdom laws and in the kingdom laws i'm going to be also talking about channels of operation under spiritual principles of both kingdoms of light and darkness now for us to understand more in this presentation let us get into scriptures in the book of luke chapter 4 verse 1 and jesus being full of the holy ghost returned from jordan and was led by the spirit into the wilderness jesus has been baptized by john the baptist in the river jordan and after being baptized by john the baptist in the river jordan he is led by the spirit of god into the wilderness you can imagine after being baptized after having received the significance of baptism which represents the reunion with the god which represents the submission under god you are then led by the same spirit of god into the wilderness calling and when i'm talking about the wilderness calling i'm talking about uh, the calling that languishes in the dry places i'm talking about a calling that languished in the interrogation room i'm talking about an isolated calling i'm talking about being paged and separated jesus has been led into a certain kind of wilderness there is nothing entertaining about being led into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights so many times we want to talk about uh, jesus sufferings on the cross we want to talk about the crucifixion we want to talk about jesus being whipped 40 times and carrying the cross to calvary but we have never talked about how it feels to fast for 40 days and 40 nights continuously in a wilderness and not being led to that wilderness by the devil but being led by the spirit of god being led by his father into the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights as a way of fulfillment according to the spiritual principles 
that must guide Jesus to construct a foundation of kingdom laws, guidelines, and regulations for the church to follow. Jesus has to lead by example. So he has to go for 40 days and 40 nights. He has to suffer those 40 days and 40 nights. To fully confirm and affirm the 40 years that was loitered in the in the wilderness in the desert as the children of israel were ushered from egypt to canaan to represent also the 40 days and 40 nights that were completed as the boat the ark of noah finally circled on a mountain after 40 days and 40 nights to confirm the 40 days and 40 nights of salvation and being 40 days tempted of the devil and in those days he did eat nothing and when those days were ended afterwards he was angry the scripture says afterwards he was angry but i fasted throughout the day and i felt how it feels just fasting for one day or just fasting for a couple of days child of god is a leper in the spirit the scripture just chose to define that he was angry but i'll tell you that he was not only angry he was exhausted he was drained he was looking miserable he was weak he was now very tired after 40 days and 40 nights and then after those 40 days and 40 nights is when then the devil came in the realms and said unto him if you are the son of god command that this stone it becomes bread lucifer knows that when a man is angry no matter he has fasted 40 days and 40 nights he now needs the flesh when we are talking about laws of the kingdom we are not talking about only spiritual laws we are talking about laws of the kingdom that guide you as a believer both in the spirit and in the physical why because if they end a spiritual laws lucifer will misguide you in the physical even though you are accurate in the spirit lucifer knows that jesus is now angry after 40 days and 40 nights so he wants jesus to violate the physical laws even though jesus has completed his assignment perfectly after 40 days and 40 nights in the realms of the spirit jesus is just hours away to complete his fast and lucifer appears he has attempted within those 40 days from day one to send different ranks of demons to contaminate 
Jesus mentally, to contaminate Jesus emotionally. He has tried all angles, but he only has one dimension that is left. To infiltrate Jesus according to the laws of the earthen vessel. And then Jesus answered him and said, It is written, That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. This is a law that was uttered by Jesus. Man shall not live by bread alone. What does that mean? It means every man is subjected to the word of life. These words that I speak, they are not just words, but they are spirit and they are life. Meaning that the word is a giver of life. And the word being a giver of life, the word is also a sustenance to the life of a human being. It is not only bread that is consumed in the physical, but it is also the word that sustains the physical. Meaning that you you are not only developed health-wise by the bread. You may realize that you are consuming bread, but you are still losing health. Until you consume the word that gives health beyond just the bread. After this temptation, the devil then took him up to a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in just a glimpse of a moment. Why is the devil showing Jesus all these kingdoms in just a moment? The devil knows that the one that has come this time is wrestling with me at kingdom level so i have to find a way to cause him to go against the laws of god at kingdom level he is not just operating at church level he is not just operating at the level of just a messiah is not just operating at the level of a prophet of a king he's operating at levels of kingdoms so whatever offense that i want to influence him whatever conduct which is negative that must offend his father must be at the level of kingdoms he must break the kingdom laws under his father and the devil said unto him after taking jesus into a high mountain he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in just a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power I'll give you and all the glory of them for it has been delivered unto me obviously he meant that it had been delivered unto him by god the father and then he declares unto jesus and says all this which has been given unto me it can also be yours but he gave a condition that if only you bow down and you worship meaning that all that jesus has to do is violate the laws of worshiping his father in spirit and truth 
he has to earn the world not the way that the father sent him remember when the father released him in john chapter 3 verse 16 for god loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that the world through him would get saved and then when you go to the end of the book of matthew it says all power has been given unto me both in heaven and on earth meaning that jesus was supposed to conquer the world indeed but he, he was supposed to conquer this world under the laws of god meaning that there were certain spiritual guidelines not only spiritual guidelines there were spiritual laws there were kingdom laws that jesus was supposed to abide to conquer this earth and all those kingdom laws that jesus was supposed to to abide lucifer knew all of them so lucifer's plan is that jesus can conquer this earth but according to his set of rules he knows that he has already completed the 40 days and 40 nights fast but he has to conquer not according to the way that his father expects him but according to his own corruption and after jesus had realized this deception jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me satan for it is written the reason why jesus is saying for it is written and indeed it was written he had to go back to the laws of the father the laws of the kingdom thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shall you save this is the law that satan wanted jesus to go against it's a kingdom law you shall worship the lord thy father and him only shall you save how many pastors how many prophets have submitted to wealth and material prosperity and they still believe that they are in good books with god how many kings of this earth how many nations have submitted to the riches of continents nations cities provinces thinking that they are fighting for god fighting for the corruption of this world breaking into world war for the sake of territorial boundaries defining it as a, a holy war not knowing that they have become very evil and they have offended the father after this temptation lucifer then brought jesus to jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple now what was happening here is that jesus is being teleported in the realms of the spirit he is still in the wilderness on day number 40 but what is happening is that all this which is happening is happening in the realms of the spirit and he is experiencing it meditationally even when lucifer presented the bread he saw it physically but it was happening in the spirit even when lucifer had the second temptation 
raised him to the position where he was able to see all nations. It was happening spiritually in a meditation. Now, he has been taken to the highest pinnacle of a temple in Jerusalem, but spiritually again. And he says, if you are the son of God, cast yourself down from here. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you to keep thee. What Lucifer is doing is that he is twisting scriptures. Twisting the laws of God. Changing the kingdom laws, the, con the context. He is still doing this today. He is using scriptures to deceive pastors. He is using scriptures to confuse prophets. And why do you say they are using scriptures? They are using scriptures to Berkeley on the pulpit of God. Not knowing that they are now going against the laws of God using scriptures that have been twisted, the context and the interpretation. I don't know where you get this ideology of thinking that if you are using the Bible, you are safe. Why? Because in these temptations, Lucifer was very highly scriptural. He knows the word of God. He knows the laws of God. In actual fact, he is not ignorant like you. And Jesus has been given a scripture which is actually there, I believe it is in the book of Psalms. Jesus is being told, cast yourself for it is written. And Lucifer says, and when you fall and in their hands they shall bear you lest at any time you dash thy foot against a stone and jesus answering lucifer said unto him thou shalt not tempt the lord thy god jesus responded with the scripture jesus responded with the law of god this was a wrestle between the laws of god all these laws that were wrestling there are kingdom laws kingdom guidelines for believers the highest wrestling with the demons is not even physical the highest wrestling with the devil is not even physical it is mental it is psychological it is all about the realms of information and if you are ignorant you get defeated in the realm of laws if you are ignorant to spiritual realities to spiritual guidelines to spiritual concepts to principles and policies that guide both kingdoms You'll get defeated by the devil, broad daylight. And after the devil had been conquered in the battle of kingdom laws, which was fixtured in three different temptations, the devil departed. And as soon as the devil departed, in Luke chapter 4, verse 13, He departed for a season and he later appeared 
when he manifested through peter and when he manifested through peter peter was given was giving an opinion which appeared as if he was sympathizing with jesus that you must not suffer all these things for it was now evident that jesus was going to suffer many things that was the devil again speaking through peter wanting to test jesus are you really prepared to suffer through the things that you are going to suffer after the three temptations angels came and they ministered unto jesus meaning that these angels they were standing from a distance and while you see these angels were standing from a distance they were not allowed not even by god to intervene there are times where you are not going to receive any dream that is significant there are times where you are not going to receive any hope not even through the word not even through revelation even when you close your eyes god is going to be quiet those very days they represented the 40 days of the wilderness calling you have to deal with that devil with the information that god has given you you have to defeat the devil by being a law-abiding citizen of the kingdom you shall be tested are you obedient to the laws of god or you are seeking for a faster elevation you are seeking for your own glory all this shall be known in the season of the 40 days elijah went through that 40 days moses went through that 40 days and those 40 days they determine your whole salvation child of god i'm here once again to present yet another presentation which prescribes the need for every believer not to operate ignorantly in the things of the spirit which prescribes for every believer not to operate in the things of the spirit without fully meditating in the word of god being alert in the word that has been written the word that has been spoken and not being ignorant to the kingdom laws when wrestling with the devil and i pray that you have been equipped in the name of jesus